Alright everyone, welcome back to uh, War Mongrels. It's uh, been a while, and I ain't gonna lie, I have actually completed the game twice. And I did actually somehow get past <clears throat> that. Uh, it, I don't know how I did it. I, I, I can faintly remember luring a guard away and having Manfred kill him. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a lot easier having uh, Joachim as the, uh, the dressed up one. So, um, I don't know, I don't know really how I want to play this, if I want to, you know, I, I kind of play the mission again, and I kind of have it uh, named, like, like uh, redone or something at the end, whatever, and, well, then just go from there and do the remaining three missions once we're done with this one. So, with nothing else to say, uh, let's just start with there. I can hardly remember the torments I went through during the Gestapo interrogation. I told them the plans of our mission, why we were headed to Komhoff, what we found near Vilnius, everything. However, I do not believe that things would get so very complicated. I couldn't have known that the prisoners were going to start a rebellion. From the outset, my actions only made the situation worse. Although, not everything was lost. We obtained crucial evidence and saved a key witness of these atrocious events. A man named Joachim. We escaped and that night in the safe house, Joachim told us about himself. Before the war, he owned a factory in Munich. But after Kristallnacht, a Nazi-led pogrom against the Jews, Joachim fled to Poland. When the Germans attacked Poland, he was captured. He began his miserable journey from labor to concentration camps. This is where he got in touch with the Home Army and became their inside man. After weeks of stillness and waiting for any news from the Home Army headquarters, finally something moved. Greta showed up with orders that said we were going to London. We were to give the Allies evidence of the war crimes committed by the Germans. The shortest route straight through German airspace was not possible. Instead, as part of Operation Wildhorn 4, me, Joachim, and Greta flew to Brindisi in Italy, and from there towards the southern border of France. At the time, preparations for Operation Dragoon were already underway. We were assured we'd be completely safe. Unfortunately, no one considered we would accidentally be mistaken as an enemy. With no radio and a catastrophic fuel leak, we had no choice but to make an emergency landing in occupied France. Oh, damn. Consider yourselves lucky, chaps. I have no bloody idea how I managed to land at all. We're lucky it was just a fuel tank that was hit. <laughs> Did I just say that? Shh. 
Someone's coming. C'est un avion anglais. André, fais attention. Oui. State your business here. We've had an emergency landing on our way to London. And this Dakota is not flying anywhere anymore. What is your business in London? Michel Patrouille Monde. It's a German patrol. Quick, follow me. So, oh, yeah, God, what you is your job? We have a very important message. It has to be delivered to the British government. What kind of message? Couldn't you telegraph it? We can't telegraph me. I see. It's uh, confidential. Who are you people, anyway? We're Force Française de l'Intérieur, the FFI. The Résistance. We're on the same page, then. We're with the Polish AK, the Home Army. Call me Greta. These two gentlemen are Joachim and Manfred. Germans? It seems you people really do have something important to tell London. Trust me, it is. Joachim, I verstehe fast gar nichts. Shh. Alles ist in Ordnung. I actually looked up for that, uh, what the uh, mantra said there, and it's something like the dog doesn't understand. The other kid, don't worry about it. It's all right. Now, look, I believe you falling from the sky exactly today is a sign. What do you mean? Tomorrow we are supposed to liberate Brive la Gaillarde, our hometown. Supposed to? We. Oui. Some of our key members were captured two days ago. And we don't have enough manpower for the plan. I don't have a choice but to ask for your help. In return, we're going to help you get to London. Sorry, Fraulein, but we have our own assignment. Our plan involves killing dozens of high-ranking Nazi dignitaries. Okay, go on. Tonight, they're having an important gathering at a party near our town. The plan is to assault the event and massacre as many as we can. It will devastate their leadership in the region. And this is our chance to liberate ourselves. Interested? Joachim? Fuck, I'm in. Manfred? Ich weiß nicht, worüber hier. We're in. Formidable. But we need to do some preparation. It is important to get inside the party first in disguise. And you, Greta, fit the role perfectly. You will come to the party as Nicole Schneider, a French wife of one of the absent officers. She should be keeping the invitation at their mansion, here in the town. Break inside and steal it. Don't forget to take one of her fancy dresses. This is going to be your party outfit. Of course, La Pute has to die also. You should find her enjoying her time somewhere nearby. The last thing is that we need to cut off their local garrison from any reinforcements. Blowing up the radio station up on the hill should do the trick. Do you have explosives? Oui. That part was prepared successfully. Here, take them. Any questions? No. I think we will handle this. I like you already. Try to be as silent as you can. We don't want to draw their attention too soon. Manfred, take this bomb. I don't know what to do with it. Me neither. Uh, so, <laughs> from what I understand, we're blowing up the radio station and killing some lady. Basically, yes. And? And then we will shoot Nazis. Huh. Well, that'll be something new. Never enough, if you ask me. Well, if there's only one person I wouldn't refuse to help kill Nazis, it's you, Joachim. Appreciate it. You know, I should be... Have anyone played, uh, like, uh, Might be good for me to dress as a soldier again. Three years on the Eastern Front and I never got a new uniform. Now I'm changing them constantly. Huh. Uh, what was it? the name? Uh, Robin Hood, sure. Legend of Sherwood. I'm thinking a similar... Uh, a similar idea can be used with the French uh, Resistance. That's an idea. I think that I, I actually have played it. Uh, How this start in 1941? Um, not my most. Uh, I played a little of it. Actually, I played a few hours, a few missions. Uh, not really my favorite game. Uh, 
Don't worry, we'll take care of you. Oh, I bet. Heard all the stories of you helping our airmen. Would you believe our nations were sworn enemies once? Luckily, that's history, Lady Michelle. It's strange they've put a woman in charge. You have a problem with that? It's just... unusual. So? Oh, nothing. Tough times make for unusual situations. You, as a Jew, are in a team with an ex-Nazi soldier. That's <laughs> unusual, Joachim. Women in charge are not. Maybe I'm simply not used to it. Better get used to it, then. One day this damn war will end. And afterwards, I don't think women will be pushed around anymore. <laughs> Is that so? The men have been decimated. You won't be able to rebuild shit without us. Hmm. I never thought about this. Everything is fucked up. You're feminist in my car. What did you say? I'm gonna shit for that one, won't I? Uh, let's see. That's the thing with giving Manfred the uniform. It's that. I don't have to worry about distracting guards. I, I can simply just track a box, everyone go there, and they move. However, when it comes to giving it to Joachim, uh, he can distract them though, he can uh, just walk up and distract them forever and ever and ever. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's it. Let's see what I actually want to do, because I usually kill this thing. Absolutely. Uh, there is a civilian going around. It might actually now that I remember um, some, yeah, some woman just walking around that sir, yeah, sir As if it was a bad dream. 
Looking at local occupation troops, I don't see the bestiality I saw from my fellow soldiers. Maybe because the French aren't considered to be subhumans as strange as us. Well, honestly, I'm happy I've met you people. <laughs> Why's that? I was ordered to do terrible things, Greta. But since I deserted St. Ponari, I feel like I'm redeeming myself. Like this Manfred you see now regained a bit of his... his soul. Manfred, anything you and Evald did there in the front, that was not your choice. But in the end, it's you who pulls the trigger. Manfred, I will testify anywhere, anytime, that you are both good people. Thank you, Greta. That means a lot to me. through too much to get those. Don't worry. Yeah, you told me the story. I have to admit you're different from other Krauts I know. You're practically a Kraut yourself, Joachim. You were born in the Reich. I considered myself a German, of course, until Hitler told everyone I wasn't. Uh, well, you have to admit, you Jews were always underlining you being different kin from us. So fucking what? Does it mean you can exterminate people for being different? Uh, it's not what I... Oh yeah, and tell me that Which we were traitors who caused Germany to lose the Great War. I've heard that many times. But I'm not saying. And we kidnapped children, and we're all communists, and we're not human beings, just animals. Is that still what you believe in, Nazi? Calm down, can we talk normally? Fuck off, Manfred. Don't you ever start the subject again, you fucking pig. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Greta, why did you come with us? I was ordered to. I know, but why they picked you instead of Led, for example? He surely has better connections with London, as silent, unseen. Yes, but he's not really a negotiator type. He's not. But what's there to negotiate about? We have documents, photos, and me. But you and Manfred were both born in Germany. That doesn't really make you a reliable source of information in British eyes. Especially when our information is so difficult to comprehend for a human being. And besides, my English is simply better. I get it. Leonard is just a simple soldier. I wouldn't call him simple. He has a unique personality, I will admit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It sounds like you are actually fond of him. No, I am not. Greta... I am not talking to you. <laughs> you like him? It's different here. It's, uh, what was it? Joachim is one of the older, oldest members of the, the group. Like 50 or something like that. And Manfred is the jungle. Looks like the local. 
locals have never actually seen the war. seem to have a good time here. I usually uh, make this guy come over here. I don't think I would fight if the occupation in Poland looked anything like this. Oh yeah, uh, what was it, F6? Oh, okay, that actually changed my... Uh, God damn it, sorry. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Or skip forward, I don't know. Uh, no, why am I doing in here? I need... Is that a unique man? I think so. Uh, key binding. Saving. just handed the Jews over to the Nazis and they're dying like the rest of us. over to the Nazis and they're dying like the rest of us. Maybe I should do this, bro. 
know what? I think I'm gonna move my save into uh, F5 because I keep on hitting that one. I don't know. I think I have enough time to actually get in here and then I'm gonna call it quits on the video that is. Going there. Only have done that when I 
the Baron, that includes, or, you know, challenges, which includes killing everybody. That's the only time I've done it. Why? Because... But generally, I avoid it. Like, like, you know, like, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's a thing you can do. You can uh, do this. By the way, I love the uh, music plug. The sound of it. That, that's a trick I've picked up on my second playthrough. Uh, okay, so now we can actually go through here.
played it. This is my first time playing it. Well, uh, not fully, but you know, this is the first time I haven't killed killed everyone in here. So, uh, you know, personally, I am improving. I am way overdue, but, uh, you know. Oh shit, again, there's an officer there that will actually. No, the officer doesn't give up. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so while we're here, we might as well head over and deal with this shit. And then head down to the Kosh Nida. And that means that we... Okay. I, I actually thought I got tapped out there for a oh. moment. But yeah, um, this area of the game is actually quite fun. Um, I've done it once. I don't know how I actually got through... Oh yeah, wait. Oh yeah. Because if I had one flare in there... In uniform, he could just da 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 da. Bang. So uh, yeah. So oh, well, um, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was way too long for any one of you to watch in one day. I know I, I watch long videos in like sessions. You know, like ten minutes there, ten minutes.